Hi, Ben here from Trident Fly Fishing, back with another episode of Talking Trident, where we answer your questions right here on our channel. Today, we're gonna to be taking on the much debated topic of stocking foot versus boot foot waders. Stay tuned. Now, before we get started, please, please be sure to submit your questions to Talking Trident. We're quickly running out of material and we need your help. Just leave a comment below in this video or send us an email at support at tridentflyfishing.com with the subject line, Talking Trident. Now, let's talk about these waders. First off, if you're new to the sport and you're wondering what the difference is between boot foot and stocking foot waders or what I'm talking about at all, these here are boot foot waders. You'll notice they have a boot where your foot goes. And these are stocking foots, and they've got a stocking or a sock that's made of neoprene or some other waterproof material. And you put a boot over those to make up the whole wader. Now, both boot foot and stocking foot waders have their pros and cons. And there are a lot of advantages to stocking foot waders. So let's dive into it. Number one is going to be you're going to get a better fit. And that's not necessarily because boot foot waders have a bad fit, but stocking foot waders come in a huge, huge range of sizes. So you can get an extra large, short king if you want in a stocking foot, whereas in a boot foot, you can probably find a standard medium or a large. There's just not going to be the same range in a boot foot that you're going to find in a stocking foot. And the reason for that is pretty simple. In boot foots, you need to pair a body size with a foot size. So if Sims wants to make a range of boot foot waders, they've got to make a large with a size 10, 11, and 12 shoe. In a stocking foot, the stocking covers three or four sizes. So you really only need to make one or two variations. The next benefit to stocking foot waders is they're more customizable and you get much better traction because of it. And what do I mean by that? You can pick any boot that you want. And because of that, you're gonna find a range of sizes and fits, but also a range of different traction options. So with these Corkers River Ops, for example, I can even trade out soles and go with a tungsten studded sole, a rubber sole, a felt sole, an aluminum sole. There are just tons and tons of combinations and options from a multitude of different brands, and they'll all work with your stocking foot waders. And because you can customize that boot so much better, these are gonna be more comfortable. If you're going on long hikes, you're gonna get all the support and all the right fit that you need in a stocking foot wader. Another big advantage to stocking foots is the size that they pack down to. As you can see, these fold down pretty nicely. Whereas these boot foots, they're always stuck to the boot. So if you're going on a trip, this is just gonna be much easier to pack than your boot foots are. Now, another pro of stocking foot waders that a lot of people don't think about is stocking foot waders are machine washable, whereas boot foots are not. That's right. If you follow the instructions on the label, you can actually wash these waders, whereas these, you can't, or not very easily anyway. And last but not least, in favor of the stocking foot is durability. Now, I'm not gonna claim that boot foots are totally not a durable wader, but every single pair I've ever seen has ripped at some point at the seam where the boot meets the wader. It's just an inherent weakness and companies have not figured out how to deal with that over hundreds and hundreds of uses. On a stocking foot, on the other hand, that neoprene joint has been well tested and we've not seen delamination issues for a very long time. I wanted to briefly interrupt this review to let you know that this video is supported 100% by your purchases at Trident Fly Fishing. So if you're in the market for some new tackle, check us out at tridentflyfishing.com. Now you might be thinking, why would anyone wear a boot foot? And in my opinion, you shouldn't. But there are some really good reasons why you might want a boot foot in certain situations. First off, boot foot waders are going to be inherently warmer. You can insulate that boot foot much more easily. You can fit a thicker sock on underneath. This is just gonna be a warmer wader. So if you're fishing really, really cold conditions, this will give you that advantage. They're also much faster 
to take off and put on than your stocking foot. There's no messing with laces or boas. You just slip them right on and you can beat all your friends to that fishing hole. Another benefit to boot foots is that if you're fishing in really, really dirty, muddy conditions or any sort of loose substrate, they aren't gonna get as dirty or collect as much mud and debris as a stocking foot will. Sure, we've got gravel guards to limit that to some extent, but if you're on a mud flat and you sink knee deep, while you're gonna be uncomfortable in both of these waders, on a boot foot, it's gonna come out much more cleanly and overall, it's gonna be better. There's a reason why duck hunters use boot foots. And last but not least, for a certain segment of the population, like those with back issues, or if you're simply too lazy to bend down, boot foots are gonna be much easier because you don't have to lace them up to put them on. Tell us what kind of waders you're wearing by leaving us a comment in the box below. And don't forget to leave us a suggestion for the next episode of Talking Trident. I'm Ben, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.